So you when I was walking by You saw me to my heaven You let me cry on your shoulder, shoulder like so proud of him and all of his accomplishments because like I've known him since he was a private <laughs> and now it's like now you get promoted to chief like that's crazy but it's like man he has done so much in his career and it's like when you talk to him he make it seem like it's nothing <laughs> I don't know if I'm sorry if my hand's in the way but he like makes it seem like it's nothing <laughs> And it's really, like, a big deal. All the stuff that he's accomplished. And, like, he always talks about how proud of me he is. But I feel like he needs to be proud of himself as well. Because he's accomplished a lot to still be so young. And everything. And, like, to think that he never thought... He never saw himself as a warrant officer. And now he, he, he went ahead and did it. Like, he conquered that, so. I don't know. I'm just like so emotional. I'm like super proud of him. And I cannot wait to see like what he continues to do or how he continues to thrive. It's 
especially after I retired. <laughs> I was joking with him this morning. I was like, your next promotion, I will be getting ready to retire. He can keep it going though. I'll be a stay at home mom, dog mom, because he was like, your kids will be, like nobody will be in the house. So I'm like, the dogs need me home. They need me home all day so no one can get hugs and stuff. So yeah. That's my plan. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn this off. I was just popping on. Um, we'll see if he actually watched the video and get my little message. But not. Anywho, I'm going to concentrate on the road and I will hop back on. Probably, I don't know. I'll hop back on at some point today. Well, we made it to the mission and now evan and the kids are pulling up so we about to just go ahead and set everything up real quick um because i know people probably gonna start getting here in a few minutes so hopefully we can do it kind of quick before anybody get here so yep i look real greasy right now and i don't know how i feel about this lipstick there's like a hodgepodge of a bunch of stuff and i don't know how i feel about it but we gonna rock with it because it's too late now anywho
I know he would not be here celebrating this milestone with us today if it weren't for you. To his children, Jeremiah and Mariah, thank you for the unconditional love, for enduring time apart, and the difficulties inherent to being a military child. Your resiliency as you navigate through PCSs and new schools with grace allows your dad to perform as a phenomenal leader in the United States Air Force. <laughs> Back in Chicago in 1990, nobody would have predicted the growth and success that Denzel would achieve. In 2009, he joined the 1% of the U.S. population to choose to serve our nation. He endured basic training at Fort Jackson and continued with intelligence training down the road over at Goodfellow Air Force Base. Since completing training, he has thrived through seven moves, two deployments, and countless TDYs. Like many in our community, he has experienced many successes and has remained resilient through extremely difficult situations, proving his depth and breadth of knowledge and leadership through each assignment. Due to his commitment and dedication, he was selected to become Warrant Officer. A distinct honor afforded to very few among those of us who serve. Today we are able to celebrate his success in completing his first two probationary years as a Warrant Officer as he promotes to Chief Warrant Officer too. Congratulations. <laughs> during my two-year tenure on probation. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, I want to thank you all for coming because I have people here that were with me from the start of my Army career to now. Um, the list is so long for people to thank. We got people out of the country that came all the way down to see me get promoted. But I promised myself that when I got this opportunity, I wasn't going to take it lightly and I was going to tell my story. So January 5th, 2020 is when I lost my first soldier on deployment. And Specialist Henry Mayfield, we called him Mitch, was important to me because we come from the same place. We went to school with my family. We had the same set of friends. And we didn't know each other until we were on deployment together that we knew all of this about each other and just never met. On that morning, when I said goodbye to Mitch, he handed me two bottles of water as I filled on my 18 pack. And uh, I had the worst opportunity of my life where Mitch took an RPG round that was meant for me. And in that moment, I didn't know that Mitch was on assignment to go to Watts. I didn't know that he was supposed to become a flight warrant at the time. They sent him down there. And I remember in that moment, I had options. And I just so happened to have enough minutes on my little cell phone that I made two calls. I made the call to my mom and I made the call to Anika. And I remember in that important phone call that I had with Anika, she asked me, did she want to wake the kids up? And I told her no. And when I told her no, I told her, this is my this is my goodbye. This is my goodbye to you. This is it. I love you for everything that you've done for me. I love you for always being there for me and it still holds true today. But in that moment, she knew everything that she had to to keep going. And that's the person I always have in my corner. And I wouldn't be here standing in this exact moment without her. And I owe this all to her. And to my two kids, Jeremiah and Mariah, I am so proud of you. Every single moment that I get to wake up and say that I'm your dad, it is literally a joyous moment because y'all motivate me so much to be better every single day. But I don't carry this promotion for myself. I carry this promotion for my brother. My brother that I watched, my brother that I heard the radio call when they called him killed in action. I hold it for me. And that always weighs heavily on my heart. And even knows how it destroyed me because I took that as my failure. And I didn't know how I was supposed to move on in my army career in that moment. I didn't, I wanted it to stop. I wanted everything to stop. 
and she somehow, some way, told me that I need to keep pushing. I need to find a way to keep his legacy alive. I need to find a way to keep my legacy alive. And I appreciate everything that you have done from the moment that we first met in 2009 on the Troop Walk until now. I love you forever. Body, body.